properly. <laughs> so this is your so wasabi crop. So, I mean, this yeah, is... This is our prototype wasabi crop. So we've been growing it uh, in here for experimentation purposes for about five, six years. Uh, 2005, yeah, five or six years. And um, basically we've learned... 2005 is a long time ago. We began in two... Sorry, 2015. <laughs> we began in 2015. <laughs> so we've been playing around with it since 2015. We have a lot up the back of it. We have yeah. maybe now 10,000 plants on the nursery producing it. What? Is this outside? Yeah, outside. It, you, I'll so, show it yeah. yeah. And basically what we're growing it for is the leaf. Yeah. So we use all biological control, no chemical uh, yeah. touches it. And we're growing it because Ireland's climate is really suitable to... Uh, and is that. it really, really hot and spicy? It's actually pungent rather than spicy. So you'll get a hit yeah. right between your eyes. So when you chew it now, at this stage is the perfect stage for the wasabi PTO. So the Japanese use the wasabi PTO for making um, uh, pickles. So yeah. they they use the now they'd be longer when they're outdoors. Yeah. Hokkaido in Japan is the biggest uh, and area that's what that production. is. So they use the PTO. So they grow it specially. It's called Oka wasabi grown out in the field. Yeah. And basically they uh, use the leaf and the PTO and they use it in ferments in pickles and it's got a sweet pungent taste to it. So You'll taste it in a few minutes now. That's sweet, but it the it builds mm. the the flavor so evolves. Keep, yeah, so you keep chewing it and you're macerating the the wasabi. Yeah, and as a reaction, then it kicks off with the isotiocyanate um, pungency. So it's basically a molecule that the plant is protecting itself against insects and everything with. But this particular um, allyl isotiocyanate that's in wasabi is very like the horseradish but it's more volatile however scientists have found now that its effect on the plaque in your in your bloodstream and a number of other uh, neurological um, benefits, benefits um, in particular um, brain health and the vascular system so there's quite a lot of work being done on it, again as an anti-inflammatory. Wow. So one of, the, one of the hopes with us is if we can deliver it into people's palate, fresh produce. Yes. Um, you're getting the direct benefit, obviously, via fresh produce. But there's many other elements like polyphenols and other yeah. nutritional benefits from it. And it's quite volatile so fresh is the best way but the second best way is freeze dry and this is what this is all you've yeah. just cropped this all so we just cropped this last week yeah it's all gone and it's dried into a powder now yeah so we'll be making the powder available because the plant is really gets into dormancy in the middle of the summer so you don't have much till the following spring now if you had come here a few about two months ago, you only see remnants of them now with the flower is exquisite. Oh, is that I eat, the flower yeah, there? Yeah, I eat the flower stem, the flower and the flower stem. It's, now, when it's got to this stage, it's gone way beyond its maturity stage. Yeah. But when it's a young shoot, um, you've got these beautiful succulent. This part of it is very succulent. Yeah. But now it's growing seed and we're hoping to collect seed because we're trying to develop an Irish um, suited strain. Because it's a very sensitive, you, like if you read your stuff, you'll find that wasabi, everybody has a lot of problems in growing it. But the Irish climate is actually as close as you're going to get to perfect for wasabi production. F absolutely fascinating. Thank you. Now, you take these away. Yes. And, um, and it'll be good for my bloodstream and my brains. You tell me how I eat them. I chew them hard. I get a really big hit between the eyes. Yeah. So it's it's really pungent now. It comes down your nose and it'll it'll develop tears in your <laughs> in your eyes. So when you really do chew it and keep your mouth closed while you're chewing, yeah. Richard, yeah. Costello is Helen making. Costello is making um, pickles and um, 
not a very good culinary person. Pickles and what do you call pickle. something fermented? No. Um, a paste, a sauerkraut. Uh, no, it's when you. It's a dollop of something on your plate. A mayonnaise. No. A mustard. No. Like a comfit. Um, anyway, Compot make, type thing. Yeah. She's making two products. One is pickles. Yeah. And the other is a more kind of a pesto like product. So more macerated to use on your plate with meat or whatever as a pesto. The other thing about wasabi is antimicrobial. The reason wasabi was used in history was like we used salt to preserve fish. So they found, well, not so much to preserve it, but to counteract the food poisoning. Um, the bacteria that... Yeah, so it kills bacteria. So what they found in recent years is that they're making all sorts of tissue and that infused with wasabi for in bento boxes in Japan. So they'll wrap the food with a very thin film of tissue impregnated with wasabi. wasabi. Wow, yeah. fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Now those little grains that you see are actually the carriers for the biological control. It's harmless. A mixture of the flavors, you get the nice sweet flavor that comes from the, the PTO. So I even make sandwiches out of it. Uh, so you just roll the whole, if you really want the hit, you just roll the, the whole lot, the PTO and this, so you get the two mixes. And I'm not going to be able to talk from now on. So <laughs> you, you take a good mouthful of it now, each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you mask it, you chew and chew and chew and chew it, and chew it, and chew it. <laughs> Until it hurts. <laughs> Until it hurts. Mm. As in because it's stinging or, mm. oh, up in your head, mm. between your eyes. Mm. You can't talk. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, you feel it. Mm. And do you then swallow it or do you then? Then I swallow it, yeah. Oh. And it's at that point you get the blast. The hit. So <laughs> in about five or 10 minutes then, if you're a bit burpy, <laughs> you actually, when you burp, <laughs> you get the gas coming back up again. <laughs> oh my word! Oh my word! <laughs> but when you mix the. I just discovered this. I've eaten it in all sorts of ways. Now it's getting past the. It's getting past the real succulent stage. There's a stage where you don't have much fiber in the PTO. Yeah. Now there's fiber down around here. That's why I cut the stems in half for you. Okay. Normally when they're a bit sharper. Yeah. On the flower especially, the, the the flower stem. Yeah. You won't even get a little bit of fiber. It's it's really succulent. Yeah. And sweet. Now the PTO, explain what's the PTO? The PTO. PTO. PTO of a leaf. That's a PTO. It's the stem. See a lot of people I wouldn't mm. know the the um, biological terms. So that's the PTO. That's okay. the botanical term. For the and PTO. That's the leaf. Okay. So the highest, highest pungency is in the rhizome, and that's the piece, the famous piece. And th that's the, what's in the ground, so it, it grows from a rhizome, not a root structure. It's an adventitious stem. It's not a rhizome, but the Japanese translation seem to put it in the world knows it as a rhizome, but it's actually like a Brussels sprout stem. It's in and the same so that's what you, the, So when you're get, eating Japanese food and you have that um, green paste, mm. that's from the root, the, the ry rhizome. What they call a rhizome, but really it's the same as the Brussels sprout stem. It's like a short Brussels sprout stem. Okay. It's the part of the plant connected between the leaf and the roots. It's the stem, like a so Brussels it's a, sprout. Okay, gotcha. It's it's brassica. It's yeah. in the same family. As, oh, it's a brass in yeah, the brassica yeah, family. Yeah. Oh, Horseradish. Very Brussels sprout, broccoli, and it's got the same similar um, nutrients as broccoli, but it's got this molecule, um, allyl isothiocyanate, 6-MITC, I think the scientists call it, and that's the one that's helping with the physiological health or whatever, the bloodstream stuff, the whole anti-inflammatory. That's the little secret bullet that a lot of scientists are talking about now.
Interesting. Thank in you. In the field further up. Beyond. But this is the outdoor this trials. This is the outdoor trials in pots. So basically, we're feeding them each individual each individual tube because it's like it's filtered water and we're using rainwater. We have rainwater storage tanks and we're pumping it through it there. So basically these are... So this is a pumping system of rainwater. Yeah, you see it here? Yes. So we have rainwater collection tanks above and we pump the water back through here. And basically what we're trying to do is find um, a system. Now these are all our mother plants and from these we'll get baby plants and we're hoping to develop a field growing system but it'll have to be shaded in the summer because even in Ireland it's just not it's too much sun it's too much sun even in Ireland yeah that's yeah, interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. well it well, might be a good crop for a silvo pasture kind of thing where it you have to, trees yeah well in, in to shelter I can't remember the name of it it's not Nagano and it's not Shizuka and it's not Hokkaido there's another region in in um, Japan famous for wasabi and basically that region it's all grown under trees oh wow yeah. under the tree is the the shade for for the uh, summer months yeah we're working with a farmer their 11 generation wasabi farmer that's where we're learning our in japan from. yeah i've been over with him three times and he's been over here once and he's teaching us how to grow it and some of his varieties is what we brought in and he shared his seeds with us so that we can get a variety hopefully that will suit our climate because that's what all the farmers do, they select their own varieties. So they've, they've taken us in, it's in a little village called Utogi, it's the World Heritage Village for Wasabi. And um, I have some pictures of me standing beside the World Heritage sign. But basically that's where the first emperor that decreed the Wasabi was an agricultural crop. So they had to say this is an agricultural crop because the palace wanted it cultivated more and uh, it was growing out in the wild and in the 16th century they decreed that Utogi was the village that the, the royal whatever charter was given to to grow the wasabi and that's where we're working with the farmer uh, he's a young guy he's the 11th generation uh, wasabi farmer and so here's more of it over here more, over there, more yeah, trials yeah. and then we have about the same again up in another area um, but our hope is that we'll grow the mother plant material this way so they will be where we will take the baby plants from yeah and then we'll plant it in more expansive plantations either in shaded area like this or hopefully in the field we'd, we'd like to be growing it in in a field and that's only for the leaf for the peat for the rhizome wasabi sawa wasabi they call it in production that can't be produced in that way it has to be produced in flowing water uh, but the leaf wasabi can be produced this and this way. is what you're looking to produce in it's Ireland, the same plant there? it's yeah. the same plant well we, we have a little stream down in our bog and i planted some there but that will be a whole generation a whole generation another lifetime needed. <laughs> <laughs> so i've melted some butter on the aga and I've whipped up some eggs, and these are two of Pat's leaves of wasabi that I've sliced up. So I'm gonna do an experiment of um, scrambled eggs with uh, wasabi, and see how that works. So I'm very excited about this. Fresh wasabi, fresh Irish wasabi with scrambled eggs and see how that um, I mean he was telling me to eat it fresh but uh, I have to have my supper and so I thought I may as well scramble use some uh, of his wasabi in my supper so some fresh scrambled eggs fresh eggs from my hens and fresh wasabi from Pat and we'll see what that turns out like so the scrambled eggs are done and my fresh asparagus, this is from a friend's polytunnel. So I'll put these on the plate.
like that. And then get all this butter, fresh wasabi, and asparagus. So that is gonna be my supper tonight. That's my supper. Homegrown from all local producers. My uh, fresh and fresh eggs. So that should be absolutely scrum deliciousness. 